All right, so check this out. I got a new driving iron. It's a three driving iron. It's a Tour Edge Exotics EXSTI Utility. It's got a Tensai Black Stiff Flex 70. And uh, we're going to get some numbers on it today. And I just wanted to go over kind of what I'm working on. I had a golf outing recently and I felt like I got here and then everything kind of moved forward towards the ball. I, I didn't shank any, but when I get here, then I bail and pull and I was getting a lot of things kind of off the toe. And so what I'm going to focus on uh, during this little range session is I'm going to focus on getting this right hip to go almost around my left hip. So instead of trying to get my right hip to go back, instead of going this way, I'm going to push almost this way. This is exaggerating, but push around the other side of my butt. Get here, lots of room to swing, and then everything explodes through the ball so a couple things to work on and we'll see what we can get out of a driving iron see if it needs to go in the bag okay so far I have hit absolutely everything off the extreme toe. I'm not sure I've gotten one square, so... All right, that was probably my best strike. It took me a while to figure out. Uh, I almost had to aim at the top of the ball. I was towing it so bad. So the way the shaft uh, bends or stiffens or something was throwing off my usual swing. Changed my focus point a little bit and was able to get some numbers. Let's have a look-see here. Peak height of 29 yards, descent angle of 42, even on a 192 carry, 209 total, 4,700 backspin, and only offline by a few yards. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple more, and then I got another driving iron that's a little older. Uh, we're going to see, compare a little bit. So couple more with the two ridge and then we're going to a ping uh, oldie let's see <laughs> okay if I was able to get those numbers uh, right here Every swing with that and that flight path, it'd be in the bag because uh, an iron off the tee that goes 207 carry 222 descent angle 46 still comes down soft. Like, you can hit this on long par threes, etc. Pretty pumped about that. Um, felt good off the face. Never really hit a tour edge club before, but uh, pretty impressed 
so far. We're gonna grab a old ping and see what that does. So the competition today is between that and a ping G2 hollow body high launch super cavity hybrid. Um, not doesn't have the look that the tour edge does that's for sure but we will give it a couple hits and see what kind of numbers we get from this All right, that's about as good as I can hit that one. And the numbers are pretty similar, actually. Um, ball speed down just a little bit, which makes sense because of the technology in here. It's just not quite what's in that tour edge. We have 194 carry, 44 backspin, descent angle less, and uh, peak height less. So um, this one is a two. The other one is a three. I have one more honorable mention. It's an old Mizuno 18 degree, and I don't hit it very good. That's why it's not even being considered, but we're gonna see what kind of number I can get from that. And I think we're ready to declare the tour edge the winner. All right, that's the best I hit that one. I don't hit that club good. Ball speed was okay. Length was okay. It was much lower. Had a much straighter type of trajectory. Um, I'm going to see if I can kind of get that low stinger draw or fade out of this tour edge. And then we're calling this video good. So they're able to get peak height down to 25 yards and descent angle to come way down. So I think there's potential here for this thing to just be a monster um, and a very utilitarian club. So it's going in the bag, possibly over this uh, hybrid. We'll have to do a comparison video, three iron to three hybrid coming soon.